As I look closely at developed markets in Asia Pacific, it is clear that uh, electric uh, beauty appliances is rising as new entry for growth in beauty and personal care industries. Consumers' interest in at-home treatment is increasing, and advanced technology make it possible for consumers to enjoy electric devices for beauty purpose. Various electric devices such as facial cleanser, facial sauna, and food spa are already available in the market, and many manufacturers are plan to tap into the trends. Especially electric facial cleanser that being represented by Clarisonic and Disappear uh, is gaining popularity in developed country. Um, good reviews from the beauty blogger, YouTuber, and celebrity, and of course, promising message by manufacturer that is gonna enhance your skin and is the first step to a great skin. Is play an important role uh, in developed country. So I think developed markets are well established and have a potential for continued growth in the long term. But how is the stage of uh, development of electric facial cleanser in emerging countries? Well, I would say that the market is still in the embryonic stage. In Philippines, Lancome is still testing its electric facial cleansers. And in Vietnam, Indonesia or Thailand, consumer perhaps can only purchase these uh, electric facial cleansers on online retailing channel like Lazada or Rakuten. I'm not surprised that Expensive price is a main factor inhibiting the, uh, the market development because you know that average unit price of electric facial cleansers is about 200 USD, which is almost the monthly income of consumers in Indonesia or in Vietnam. So it's understandable that manufacturers haven't focused on this market yet. But well, we should not underestimate the power of the wealthy consumers here because uh, five years ago, many of consumers, I mean the wealthy consumers, have been trying out Clarisonic just that they uh, travel to the U.S. Or, or Singapore, the neighboring country, to, to purchase uh, electric facial cleansers. Or some of them might just uh, order directly from the U.S. shopping sites. And then now looking at the China, the gigantic market, and then L'Oreal have claimed that in every two minutes, at least one device of Claros may have been sold into the market. So clearly, there's not lack of opportunities for electric facial cleanser or maybe uh, beauty appliances to grow it here. But how to capture this huge demand is another question.